One of my favorite sales early on in the week is this vintage rival crock pot. Um, it's cool. It's got these little like images around the side of food. And it's pretty much in pristine condition. I have one myself in uh, this flame red color uh, that I love and I use all the time. So we had to get it. It was $2.00. And this one, I think because it's so pristine, sold for $80. These are vintage hiking boots. They're made of leather. I call them alpine mountaineering hiking boots. I probably got these for a dollar or less if we bought them in bulk. And they sold for $86. Um, I like to try to sell these high because they're kind of fashionable right now. So they're great for hiking and hunting and things like that, but um, people definitely wear them as a fashion statement. Um, I've probably had these for maybe a year. Um, I have several of them, so they sell over time. Now this is kind of a funny sale. This is Tripwire. Um, I do believe it's from the Vietnam era, and we bought it from a military surplus place where we just bought in bulk. Um, they were 75 cents each per spool, um, and we've been selling them for $12.99 for three, and we've sold out. This is, there's one more lot after this. Um, I would love to get more of these and maybe pay cheaper. I would love to have a huge box of them, because <laughs> they sell like crazy. So if you ever see Tripwire, you should get it. This is like a, a black veil that goes on kind of a fancy hat or headpiece. It's got this uh, ribbon here and this black netting. I have had this uh, so long that I actually thought I would never sell it. Um, I think it's been on our store since 2011. <laughs> That's how long I've had it. But it finally sold today for $15, <laughs> uh, which is kind of low, but it is cool and uh, someone finally wanted it. This was a cool sale tonight. It's a vintage Danish teak cutting board um, with a little drainage moat. Um, there's some marks here from a knife, but um, it is marked by the maker, uh, made in Denmark, made of wood. So that's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure we only listed this a couple months ago as well, and it sold for $50. This is a piece of artwork that we got at an auction, um, I would say a year ago, and I actually just listed it last week, and it sold. Um, this is an example of a print um, that I did not look very closely at. Um, it's a beautiful piece by uh, Louis Eckhart. I thought it might be an original etching print, which are worth thousands of dollars by this artist, um, but it's not. It's actually like a lithograph print, so it's a you know reproduction, probably an open edition, um, but it's beautifully framed and matted. Um, it's professionally framed and matted in this like beautiful silver frame. I bought a pair of these. I can't remember if I paid $60 each or... Um, $60 for both of them, but um, I thought they were worth a lot more. However, I did sell this piece for $250 uh, on Best Offer. I had it at $299. Um, she offered $250, and I said yes. I just have to pack it. It's quite large. Um, luckily, I have a big U-line box over there <laughs> that I can pack it in. Just an update on that piece of artwork, so I packed it. This box is actually huge. It's 41 inches tall by 34 by 7, which is quite large and can only go parcel post. And it was $75 to go parcel post. And she only paid $29 to ship it. So I decided to try FedEx Home. And FedEx Home was about $36. So she paid $30. It's $6. So it's a little bit off. I lost a little bit of money, but um, now the second piece that I have will get a better estimate of shipping because this turned out to be much bigger and a little bit heavier than I thought it would be. It's about 21 pounds. So uh, I'm always learning these things, even though I've done it a bunch of times, but these bigger pieces 
you got to just uh, overestimate most of the time. This is actually an embosser. So what it does is it embosses like a name and address or this one has initials as a monogram. And it came in the original box. It was called the official pirouette stationary embosser. Um, it's probably from the 50s or 60s. Sold by Neiman Marcus in Texas. And I'll show you how it works. It's kind of cool. So you stick the paper in like that. And you press down. And then when you take it out, it has this embossed raised impression here this one says JPD which is funny because that's almost Jay's initials <laughs> he's JRD I'm sure that someone either they have those initials or they're gonna switch out the little stone inside and uh, put their own in there so I probably only got this for a couple bucks maybe a dollar um, and it sold for forty dollars so this is an old box of Yves Saint Laurent wrapping paper. It's like this gold foil wrapping paper. Um, I guess it was used at a store maybe to gift wrap things. There's quite a bit of it actually. This is a lot of wrapping paper. Um, and it has the teeth here that you can rip the wrapping paper with. This actually sold for $30. So that was kind of a cool sale. We probably got it for 50 cents. These are a couple of hats that sold yesterday. This one is uh, an Irish wool tweed hat um, from Donegal. And that sold for best offer of $45. I think I had it up for $60. Um, but I took an offer because $45 is not bad for a hat. And it's a size small. So this hat is um, a sheepskin shearling hat and I think I also had this up for 60 and took 45 uh, I thought that was a pretty good price and it's freezing outside so it's the perfect time for people to be buying hats like this this is a vintage adidas kind of shiny nylon tracksuit parka windbreaker thing I had this up for $40 and then I had jackets on sale so it actually sold for $27, which is not very much for a like true 80s vintage uh, Adidas jacket. But I think it might have been worth more if it had the three Adidas stripes down the sleeves, which it doesn't. Um, it's just a little bit more generic than that. It does have the logo here, but I was fine with getting $27 for it. That was okay. This is the typesetter drawer that we sold. Uh, we sold it for $130 and we bought it for $10. Um, and the cool thing about this is you can see the font name here, which I thought was neat. And you can see the name of the company here. And that's it for the week.